Hey there, this is Clay, and today I want to talk about the difference between uh, what you do and how you do it. And um, th this really comes down to like the whole mindset of a lot of people who come to us uh, looking for help. And they just want to know what to do. They want to know the words to say. They want to know uh, what moves they should make. They want to know what body language they should have. Um, and you know, it, it, it's not really so much about what you do. It's really how you do it. It's, it's the mindset that you have as you're doing it. It's the underlying psychology and the, the, the way that you're being as you're doing it. Um, and that's why we really advocate uh, the, the three mindset pillars that we go over inside of the period of active no contact. Because what we're really showing you how to do is how to rebuild yourself so that you can bring the best of yourself to your ex, where you don't have to worry about the specific words and the specific actions and the specific body language patterns and all that stuff. Because all that stuff will really just fall flat. It'll just seem like this paper thin, like dead interaction. There'll be no life to it. And to be honest with you, um, your ex will probably see right through it. They'll be able to tell that this is just some kind of phony fake act that you're really still, you know, scared, that you're really still desperate, that you're really still desperately clinging to them. And uh, it's not going to go over well as if you actually went through the changes that we talk about inside um, the, the whole active no contact uh, thing and actually put those changes into your life and rework yourself from the foundation upward. If you can do that, then it really doesn't even matter what you do because how you do it will be so strong. You know, there's like this one saying, I think it goes, um, um, I can't hear what you're saying because who you are is so loud. I'm probably butchering that, but um, you kind of get the idea. Like it doesn't matter the words that you use because if you're still anxious, if you're still nervous, if you're still scared, then you're still going to be coming to that interaction, coming to that relationship filled with anxiety, filled with dread, filled with the same emotional baggage that uh, just has put your ex off in the past and has led you to the point where you're looking for answers. Um, so, so what you really need to do is instead of focusing on tactics, instead of focusing on the next thing to do, instead of focusing on the template, instead of focusing on the strategy, um, you know, we teach you all that of course, but um, instead of focusing on that and fixating on that as if it is like this holy grail that's going to somehow unlock every problem that you have, you have to work on the internal transformations, the internal shifts within yourself within um, your own emotional world so that, so that you can really be the kind of person who can have a positive interaction with your ex without constantly being up in your head, constantly worrying, oh, you know, what if he says this? What if she says that? What if he does this? What if he doesn't do that? What if she doesn't do this? You know, it, if you're constantly up in your head having this dialogue with yourself, then you're not in the present moment. Then you're not actually having the opportunity to have this really juicy, alive, fun, sexy, flirty conversation together with your ex. That is not even possible because you're so up in your head that you can't actually have a real uh, personal emotional connection with them. So I hope this gives you uh, an idea about, about the difference between, between trying to cling to individual tactics, what you say, how you say it, how you move, how you hold yourself, versus really working on your own internal world, internal, internal emotional world, so that you can actually be the kind of person who inspires trust without having to constantly obsess over every minute move you make or don't make or your ex makes or doesn't make. So I hope this helps you out and if you'd like to learn more about how to get back together with the person that you love, head on over to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up there. Thanks.